that we are going through now. He has gone through everything that we will ever have to go through. Amen. But it says, yet he did not sin. So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God that we will receive his mercy and we will find grace yes. to help us when we need it most. Yes. Yes. Amen. So I can go to him myself boldly, yes. confidently, yes. with power and authority yes. and know that all is well because I've got peace with God and I have received his grace. Glory to God. Ain't no devil in hell can stop it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because I've now got access to grace. Glory to God. The fourth thing is that, well, let, me, let me go back, is, is that you can now rejoice in the hope of the glory of God, in the Amplified, Romans 5, 2. Now, through him we also have access by faith into this remarkable state of grace in which we firmly and safely and securely stand. Now, it says, let us rejoice. What does that word rejoice mean? To celebrate. So, let us rejoice, or let us celebrate, our hope and the confident assurance of experiencing and enjoying the glory of our great God. The manifestation of his excellence and power. We can rejoice that his power and authority has been manifested in us through salvation. So now when the devil comes we have something to fight him with. You can't do it. It is that power and authority. If you think you scared the devil, you're fooling yourself. You can't fool him. You don't scare him. You don't. Satan, get away from me. You were placed under my feet so my heels can bruise your head. And you know what he's saying? And you don't know how to walk. Okay? Because you're walking on this path. But if you are walking on a path of righteousness, yes. you've got the power of the Lord yes. inside of you. Amen. You have his authority to command that devil, yes. get behind me, Satan, yes. and watch him do it. Because it's the power and the authority of Christ that causes him to flee. Through God's word, you exercise his word with power, with authority, and with boldness, and watch your situations change. Amen. Watch your situations change. So we can rejoice in the hope and confidence and assurance of the glory of God and the manifestation of his excellence and power. Because, see, the glory of God is the presence of God among his people where things are made known. And when glory comes, revelation comes. Because, see, now, when glory shows up on your situation, he will give you divine insight and wisdom in getting through. See, you hear people all the time say, it's not a matter of what you go through, but it's how you go through. You're either going to walk defeated or you're going to walk victoriously. I'm a child of a king. I ain't never seen a child's king walk in defeat because they walk with their head high like they stuff don't stink. <laughs> but you do it with humbleness. You do it with humbleness because it's not your power. That's and right. authority. That's right. But it's his. Yes. Amen. Then you have the ability to exercise. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So 
When you come to God's baby boy, you better come correct. Mm -hmm. okay? Because I'm going to exercise this power and authority over the enemy. That's right. Amen. And I refuse to let him have any foothold. Mm -hmm. Because I don't have to go through that. You don't have to go through that. Because when you know mm -hmm. what you have through salvation, you now know your rights. Amen. Amen. You now know what your rights are. You have a right to be happy. Yes. You have a right to be delivered. Yes. You have a right to live a good life. Yes. You have the right to have a good husband. You, did, you have the right to have a good wife. You have the right to live holy. You have a right to defeat Satan. Amen. Amen. When you know what you receive through salvation. Oh my goodness. I don't think I preach as hard as you. Yeah. I'm more of a teacher. I'm not a preacher, but praise God for the preaching spirit. Yeah. Woo! Preach, boy. I will thank you. Amen. 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 Look at Romans 8 and 18. Romans 8, chapter 8 and 18. Yet what we suffer now is nothing. Nothing. What does the word nothing mean? Nothing. nothing. <laughs> Yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory that he will reveal to us later. Amen. If you want to know how much glory is upon you, check the weight of your story. Because if the weight of your story is heavy, then the weight of his glory is even heavier. Yeah. Okay? Because the more the devil shows out, the more God's going to show up. Amen. The Amen. more the devil tears down, the more God is going to build up. Amen. Ask Job what happened. Yeah. He took everything from Job. Mm -hmm. He took his wealth. He, Satan took his family. Mm -hmm. But one thing he didn't take was his faith in God. Amen. Amen. And God took and told uh, Job, because you stuck by me, mm. I'm going to restore what the enemy stole from yes. you. But yes. hold on, baby. You are my child. Yes. I'm going to yes. give you more than enough. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to give you, you a Thank double you. portion. Yes. So if you want to know the weight of your of, of, of his glory, just look back at the weight of his story. Yes. Of your story. So now when I look at my situation, mm -hmm. I can look at my situation and say, thank you. Yes. Because God will lose, uh, God will use your tribulations that you're going through yes. mm -hmm. to help perfect you. Yeah, thank to you. To help grow you. Thank you. Amen. He will help faith. that situation. See, it's not that he wants you to go through that situation. Because trust me, his hand is right there. You right here, his hand is right here. To smack the devil away. To smack the devil away. To smack the devil away. And then when he smacks the devil away, guess what happens? Now his hand's going to be just like that. Amen. 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 Thank you. Oh, thank my you. goodness. Mm. It is nothing, our sufferings, our troubles are as nothing compared to the glory that he will reveal to us later. Yeah. Yeah. So now when I see someone else going through, mm. I can say, baby, mm. just pray it out. Yeah. There you go. Man. I've been Man. through that. Look at this. Shit. Well, Man. yes, I remember how it felt, but I also remember how it felt when I came out of that thing. Man. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because peace brought me through. Yeah. Peace mm -hmm. carried me further than work. Yes, yes. Peace carried me further than crime. Yeah. Peace carried me yeah. to the promises. Yes. The manifested promises yes, Lord. of yes. the Father. Thank you. Thank you. Glory to God. Ooh, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. In the name, in the name of Jesus. Oh my goodness. When the glory comes upon you, mm. Oh my goodness. Things look different. Yes, it does. Things feel different. Yes, it does. I feel better. Yes. I can walk with my head high. Mm -hmm. I don't have to hide from folk. Glory to God. All is well. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. It's just, this is ah. Father, you are just so awesome. Lord. Yes, awesome. Mm -hmm. Father, there is none like you. No matter what we go through, Lord, you've got us. Yes, you do. We yes, thank you, Lord. 
We thank you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because when the revelational knowledge of God hits your situation, things just don't look that bad anymore. Yes, you do. Your problems go from here to yes. here. Amen. Yes. Your situation goes from here mm -hmm. to there. The love of God goes from here to here. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. With his revelation. Because, see, he's not going to let you go through something without already preparing a way out. Amen. Right. You forget who controls the armies of heaven. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The first thing in our natural lives, when our military is going into battle, the first thing that they devise is not a plan of attack. You may think so, but it's not. They actually decide an exit strategy before they actually design the plan of attack. Yeah. They plan an exit strategy. So don't think that the high commander in chief didn't already prepare you a way out of the situation before you even got to it. Like I said, it's not how you go through it. It's not what you go through. It's how you go through it. Yeah. I'm going to follow the battle plan of the Lord. Then I know I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Because if I go to the left, I might get a dead end. Yeah. And who knows what's around that dead end? <laughs> Darkness. I'm going to stay on the beaten path where the light is. So I can see the fall. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. When his revelation comes upon your situation, you know how to go through it. Amen. 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 And the fourth thing, hallelujah, that you receive through salvation <clears throat> is the power of rejoicing in your tribulation. Romans 5, 3 in the New Living Translation, please. Said that we can rejoice too when we run into problems. And try. That sounds kind of foolish, don't it? Why are you going to sit here? Ooh, Lord, thank you for all these bills. Lord, thank you, my family ain't got nothing to eat. Hallelujah. It don't sound right, do it? It don't. It don't. But when you have peace with God, mm -hmm. for we know that they help us develop endurance. So now, when I'm going through a situation, see, the word says to give thanks in all things. Mm -hmm. That's even through these tribulations and trials. Father, thank you, because it's going to help better you. It's going to help grow you. Again, he will use that situation to help catapult you to greatness. So even though the doctor says that I've got diabetes. I take medication for it. Father, I thank you for it. I thank you for having it. Why? Father, I thank you for being overweight. I sure do. Thank you, Lord. Because when his revelational knowledge came upon me, he said, you got to get up and do something to get that weight off of you. Now look what happened. I lost 37 pounds. That's right. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm not exercising, and I hate to exercise, but he, see, watch this. He knew I hated exercising. The only exercise I wanted to do, run to the kitchen, grab some meat. Okay? I was on a light diet. I saw a light I ate. Okay? But he said, I know that you hate exercising, but watch this. He provided a resource. That's right. Righteous man. But he provided a resource for me to not only get my exercise, but I get paid to do it. I get paid to do it. And that was the benefit. So as much as I hated 
hear the doctor say, you've got diabetes, you've got to take medication, you, you, you're a little too chunky. You're cute, but you're chunky. Okay? <laughs> I did that last one. <laughs> but when God's revelation came upon me, it's like, I'm looking at my hands like, all these pills I got to take, I got to give myself four shots a day. Three when I eat and one before bed, man, that's not hard. That's not hard. No, I'm not, I'm not having that. So I pray. And I say, and every time I take my medication, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I'm healed. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I'm healed. But see, they say faith without works is dead. Because right? mm -hmm. you can have all the faith, but unless you take a step toward that faith, right, right. ain't nothing going to happen. Yeah. So I got my cute little chunky butt up and I went to work. <laughs> and now, Slim it down. Yeah. You can call me Biggie Slim. Hallelujah. <laughs> but watch this. My doctor looked at my last A1C results and he said, man, I got to take you off some of medication. Amen. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Amen. But see, when the glory of God came in mm -hmm. to my situation, I feel better. Amen. I sleep better. Amen. Okay? I'm not as moody as I normally am. Amen. I like no. <laughs> and I can fit the clothes I ain't worn up to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But that's what happens when the glory comes upon you. See, you can rejoice in your tribulations at that point. Mm. You know. I didn't like being big, er, but, <laughs> but I praise God for it because it helped me to realize that I needed to get healthy if I'm going to be yes. around and go take right. care of my right. family. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Uh huh. So in all things, give thanks. Amen. Amen. So you're having problems with your with your spouse, with your kids, with your family, with your job. Praise God for it because He's working something. Amen. Amen. The thing that he's working out might be the very thing that's bothering you. Mm -hmm. Working it out of your life. Yes. So that you can get to that peace. But if you want that peace, you can't hold on to that thing. Amen. See, I tell everybody, when you kick the devil out, make him take his bags. Mm -hmm. Because when Amen. you kick the devil out and his bags are still there, yeah. you give him a right to come back. Why? It's just like if I allow Barry to come live with me. After 30 days, he's established residence, right? Legally. He's established residence, right? So when I want him out, look what all I got to go through. I now have to go to court because he ain't going to leave because he's got to do it. <laughs> I could do it, you know? But I now have to go to court. I have to ask the judge for a, 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 a permission to kick him out. Then the judge says, okay, well, I grant you that order. So now it's going to take a probably another two weeks for them to even serve him with that order. And even then, he's got 90 days to contest it. When I want him out now, he ain't the last Oreo cookie. <laughs> I want him to But I gave him a right to be there because I have him. You, you, you allow Satan to be there because you invited him. How did you invite him with the choices that you made? It was your choice. To sin or not sin, you chose to do it, not me. But when you tell Satan that you get gone, as the youngest couple, I don't even know if they still say this, kick rocks. Make him take his bags. Because if as long as you allow him to stay there, he's got a right to come back. You got to kick him out. So he gives us the endurance to get through our situations. And then once we get through them, we're done with it. Amen. One last one, and we'll let you go. 2 Corinthians 4 and 17 in the New Living Translation. Watch this. For our present troubles are small. Small. They may look big to you, 
when you don't have peace, when you don't have confidence, when you don't have the surety of your salvation, they may seem insurmountable. But when you have it, it says that our present troubles are small and they won't last long. Yet they produce us, they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. Now let's read that again. For our present troubles are small and won't last very long, yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. Your problems have an expiration. Your, your problems is just like spoiled milk. It has an expiration date. What do you do with food that expires in your refrigerator? You throw it out. Look at your situation. Look at your problem. Tell it. Time's up. Time for you to go. Exercise your authority. Exercise your power. Realize what you receive through salvation has already prepared you to defeat the enemy in your life. You have a right not to deal with Satan. You have a right to be happy. You have a right to not be bogged down with all these problems of this world. You have a right. Exercise that right. You have power and authority. Put it to use. Put it to use. Because if you've got peace with God, you've got access to grace, you can rejoice that all is well. Because the glory of God is going to come into your situation and change things. Stop being so self-defeating. Okay? You gain weight. So what everybody does. <laughs> but get, your, get, get, get off your behind and do something about it. Amen. That's right. Don't keep telling me I'm fat. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> My wife, I, I took a her. She asked me one day, she said, baby, how do I look in this dress? No, I ain't saying nothing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wise. <laughs> no, I ain't saying nothing. And then when she said the one thing, and see, Mama, I, I don't pull any punches. She says, no, this makes me look fat. Yeah, it does. <laughs> but you make you look fat before that clip closed in. Mm -hmm. Okay? Don't complain to me if you ain't willing to do something about it. That's fine. That's fine. Okay? Yeah. Now, if you want some help, I'm here to help you. But I ain't going to sit here and be a member of your pity party. I don't have time for it. Because hmm. I've got peace. Amen? Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Understand that when you realize what you see for salvation, now I want everybody to do this one exercise. Before you came in here this morning, I guarantee it, before you came in here this morning, you had something in your mind that's been bothering you. You thought about it. Am I right? Whether it be finances, whether it be I'm hungry, whether it be child, child, parent, family, spouse, whatever. You have something that's been weighing on you all week and you were just thinking about it before you even got here today. Now I want you to take what you just learned through God's word and take a look at it now. Take a look at it now. How big is it? Can you get through? <coughs> you know how now? Change happens when you want it to. You purpose yourself for change, it'll happen. When you, when you realize what you receive through salvation, your problems don't look as bad. You now see, I'm good. I can get through this. Pray for the other party. Let it go. Let it go. Forgive them. I said that that forgiveness is for you. It's not for them. 
that forgiveness is for you. Because until you forgive them and it's not weighing on you, you don't have that peace. My friends look at us and think me and Jenny, I mean, just, just being real. They think that we just have it going on as far as our relationship. We have problems. We get tested all the time. I've got one friend that I had to ask her for forgiveness. I sure did. But because I have peace, I know everything's good. So, you may be here today and say, I need that peace in my life. You might be saying, hey, I, I accepted Christ and, and I, 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 I've been you know, going through some things so I haven't really been with Him, but I would like to rededicate my life to Him. 